just <laughs> popped out for lunch. <laughs> Me too. Oh. <laughs> Nothing like a quick sandwich. No, absolutely. <laughs> When you're actually on the studio floor trying to make the joke work and do what I'm supposed to be good at, which is to perform and make things work, that, that's when it just gets very, very stressful. <laughs> Rowan is a, a perfectionist. He's constantly taking in, is that lighting right? Is that chair the right chair? Is there a draft? No, I don't think there's a draft. And, blah, 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 blah. and, and all that is going on inside him. It's part of that perfectionism that means that you never lose a laugh. So wherever there is a potential funny moment, the, the audience will see it. <laughs> People say, oh, oh it's so marvellous because he's a perfectionist, you know. And I don't regard her perfectionism as a particularly admirable quality. I think it's more a disease than a quality because it's very debilitating. It's very draining. <laughs> My flexible friend. <laughs> I didn't feel the burden to be f funny on the Black Adder, um, whereas something like Bean, it does tend to come down to me and my performance. <laughs> You'd definitely get letters now if you did that. You can't kill fish like that, even if they are rubber. Now, that probably would have taken about 30 takes. I mean, I can't, <laughs> he certainly didn't do it first time. Sometimes I've just got to get to the point when literally I can't be bothered to do any more takes. <laughs> and maybe, you know, take 18 is better than take five. But usually it isn't. <laughs> There's definitely a number of looks that, as a straight man, you have to make sure you don't double up on. So there's a sort of look askance and the look surprised and the look disapproving and you have to kind of, well, uh, which one shall I use here? 7A. I'll use condescending. <laughs> 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 